Across the Caribbean, you listen. Across the world, you listen. And at home in the nature aisle, you listen. You listen to DBS for unbiased coverage of breaking news, original programs, and so much music. You listen for the information that will change your life and the humor to brighten your day. So here at DBS Radio, we deliver. We deliver timely news, information to live by, and the everyday interaction that we all see. Welcome, welcome, welcome listeners of DBS Radio to another episode of Culture 101. I am Acting Chief Cultural Officer Wilson Matthew. Different voice this week. You, I know you've been used to hearing Miss Tasha Pelty, but um, when you, you hold those positions that, that she holds now, you know you have to represent. And as such, she is off island and I am substituting this week. Maybe next week another officer might fill in the role. Um, but welcome to today's program. You just heard a little bit of um, First Serenade, Olaye. And, you know, keeping with the cultural vibes, you know, Serenade has contributed to our cultural development over the past few decades. Rest in peace to Archie one time. This morning, I have a couple special guests, but I'm going to start with one who I encounter on a daily basis. And that's Mr. Carlton Henry, cultural officer. So we're going to have a little conversation with him and find out a little bit about his background you know his plans for the future how he came along how he arrived at the position that he is today and we're going to learn something from from both of our guests actually as we continue to talk to dissect various aspects of culture as it relates to dominica cultural growth development and so on So you're just hearing a mass with class from Partners in Crime. Takes me back a bit. You know, back in the, the late 90s, probably my, my introduction to Booyah music, I would say. And um, what you've been hearing 
is some of the, the traditional shati mass you call that and i know the the community of grand bay is very heavy on that tradition where as part of the the lapo cab with the the you know probably make songs on each other on prominent people in the community and so on and um in keeping with that same theme of grand bay i want my my first guest to introduce himself Good day, everyone. Um, my name is Carlton Henry. As most of you may know already, I'm from the community of Grand Bay. And I'm presently a cultural officer employed with the cultural division. And as you know, the office is at the old mill. <laughs> All right. And as I mentioned, we work together on, a, together on a daily basis. So, I mean, we know each other very well, but there's a lot that you don't know about Mr. Henry. And probably one or two things that I don't know. So we will get to know him today, get to know of his background, um, <clears throat> what he does on a daily basis with the cultural division, how we arrive to where he's at, and so on. So um, I know, or the general public knows you, Mr. Henry, as a, a ballet dancer. Mr. Ballet, as our PS calls you, and <laughs> many other people. Um, Chef Ballet, and so on. I hear all kind of ballet names for you already. But um, tell us about your backgrounds. Before we even get to the belly, tell us about the roots, the origins, the, the family structure and so on, and how you arrived at that position. What other art forms you... I asked him too many questions one time, not sure? Mm, I'm not sure. About <laughs> let's, let's start with the foundation. As much as let's I start can. with the foundation. Um, I am not really sure if I can say I came from a culturally, um, culturally oriented family, but... I have a few members of my family who are involved in culture for quite a while. For example, um, Modrina Dangoben, who was awarded cultural elder in Grand Bay some years back when we had the um, Heritage Day in Grand Bay. He's my auntie. And I have a brother, um, Peter Robin, who's been involved in culture himself for quite a while now. But like the, uh, to say the other members of my family, that's culturally oriented. They might be, but they are not really practicing it as I am doing, like part of a group or, or um, out there in the world of culture. But I think I, I really got into the whole culture vibes when I attended a workshop as a child, primary school child. They always used to have this um, summer workshop and part of the summer workshop usually have a, a cultural dance aspect or, or, or something traditional that they introduce the children to and I think that's where I really got a taste for not even belly weirdly though <laughs> I got a taste for I think it was heel and toe or flirtation one of these and from there I, I, I just grew a love for this kind of traditional dance and stuff and I believe when I turned 18 I joined the Tradibel Cultural Group. So that's ah, right. we're talking about something that's quite a while. Okay, we're stopping here for the moment. Bef I didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> but before we go any further, I want to, to make mention of your aunt that you mentioned, Mordrina Dangleben, and my experience with her, probably when we, just because we started working at the Cultural Division about the same time. And um, at the time, Mr. Henry was doing a, a project on screw pine, you know, for, for craft production. And uh, she was one of the people who we interviewed. Well, she was the main person that we interviewed. And uh, that was a great experience for me because I got to, first of all, understand the process. And then at that time, you know, I was very passionate about the work, new job. And, you know, you're getting to do something culture-related. And early mornings, going to Grand Bay to shoot, getting the, the drinks to, to warm our chest early mornings. Um, <laughs> we wouldn't go further on that. But, you know, it, it was a good experience just working with her and, and so on. So, very appreciative of her contribution to, to Dominica's culture. Mm. Um, so, from <coughs> those early trainings and your, your involvement in the, the European dances, as you mentioned, the heel and toe and so on, where, what was the next step for you? Was it church? Was it what, what, what happened next? Actually, church was before all of them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got... Uh, after doing my first communion, I think I went a little, let me not say a street, but you know, after that we didn't.
to carry water, to wash dishes, to wash our clothes, to take a shower. And when I got to America and I got introduced to street performing, I used the same bucket, flipped it around, and yeah. I mean, got no, well known and mm -hmm. even got popular for doing that, you know? Yeah. So sometimes it goes to tell you that you have to use whatever you got at the time to get what you want out of it and not just rely on, you know, something for better sure, to come or sure. better equipment or mm -hmm. better, you know? Yeah. And um, your time in, well, on the West Coast, what did you get involved in in that area? On the West Coast, I, I, I think I got into a lot of, I, coming to America, I, I got into a lot of relationships I, I, I consider as planting seeds. And a lot of those were relationships that lasted for a long time. And some people expect when you get to America, it's the land of, the land of all, all, all things. And there is a lot of opportunity there, but there's also a lot of competition there because the population, there's millions of people that you have to go up against. So um, what was we saying? Um, the West Coast. The West Coast, mm -hmm. yeah, the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the West Coast, um, my, 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 my whole thing about the West Coast was gigging, gigging. How do I get to gig? How do I get to gig? Because at that point, I was just uh, I was a music, uh, street performer at the time. How do I get to gig? How do I get to gig? And um, I created this group called The Perfect Strangers. Mm -hmm. And we ended up performing for a famous chef called Giada. I don't know if you can look her up. She's uh, kind of like a Gordon Ramsay style chef. She has uh, two gourmet restaurants, one in New York, one in Las Vegas. And we ended up doing a, we, had, we ended up having a, a residency there and we performed there for about a year. Mm -hmm. And that was one of like my first big achievements, yeah. performing on, on Las Vegas Strip. And also performing at Bellagio. Uh, Bellagio is one of the biggest casinos in, in, in the world, almost, in Las Vegas. And um, you have the likes of Drake and them performing there. And mm -hmm. we got to perform at almost every casino in Las Vegas. So that was a big achievement for me moving to the West Coast uh, from mm -hmm. New York. Because sometimes they say you have to put yourself in the environment to get to get the type of work that, that there. So like you will find aspiring actors will have to move out to LA to, for things to, to find, start working to find, out for yep, them. Yeah. Yep, yep, so I guess yep. the same applies to New musicians. York, New York mm -hmm. was good for mm -hmm. me, but like you said, it was saturated with musicians. So I had to kind of, after I got my stamp in New York, I feel like New York gives you a stamp that you kind of require as a musician, because the music is it's so high in New York because of, of so many great musicians that come there searching for gigs, you'll find yourself ending up on like a gig for 30 bucks and you're yeah. playing all night. But it gives you that stamp that whenever you move out to New York and you go to like LA or you go to Vegas or whatever, you bring that vibe that people are searching for. And that's the same kind of vibe that I'm trying to bring out here to the island right now. All right, so any other of your accomplishments that you want to mention? Well, recently, um, I actually just finished working on Kanye West's documentary. It's called Genius. And if you are there, you got Netflix. You can go out and check it out. It's spelled J-E-E-N-Y-U-H-S. And I had the opportunity, shout out to uh, Burn Culture, Citizen Chance, uh, Cootie Rocks, Chike, uh, for putting me and making me be a part of that project. I, I had the opportunity to do the soundtrack. I played guitars, I played percussions, I played drums, and that's kind of one of my first steps into the door into kind of just moving from being a musician on the street and moving from that to the casinos and then moving into becoming a mainstream artist. And um, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to do that. And that's why I'm here as well. It's kind of to promote some of that of that work. Mm -hmm. Good, good, that's, that's a very, High accomplishment. I mean, yeah, you're talking I mean, about Kanye. Kanye I mean, yeah. that that documentary has been the, the buzz for a few weeks now. Yeah, and yep. knowing that we have somebody from Dominico who made a contribution to that is it's a big deal. Um, you also mentioned something about Sway in the morning. Um, what was your contribution to that? Well, I have well working working in New York for three months on that project. I had the opportunity to run into a lot of cool artists. Mm -hmm. I got to uh, share studio with Sway in the morning, some of the big guys, and. Um, Getting the certification from those guys was kind of like, like good as a musician coming from the islands. You get the stamp to, to, to I mean, even working for a big project as Kanye West to mm -hmm. be able to get the stamp. Like, okay, cool, yep, you're certified, you're good. That was that was a great feeling at the time. It felt like as a great achievement. You mm -hmm. know, coming from Dominica, I used to listen to Sway in the morning, like on SM Radio and stuff like that. Once mm -hmm. I had access to it, and to actually meet people that actually did that stuff was it was a great achievement for me. Yeah, well, keep making us proud and keep bringing in the big projects. Hopefully, that will bring the collabs and get our stuff known out there, our styles, our 
yep, traditions yep. or patterns yep. or you know. Well, I think we can things. incorporate our culture and our music culture a lot to to export it to the world to the international market where you know it'll be known kind of like Afrobeat and how the Trinidadians have their music like out there in. Mm -hmm. In, 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 in the international level and mm -hmm. not just for Dominica, we can incorporate a lot of, of the resources that we have. Yeah, to, and to that's, that's not going to happen there. by magic. It has to be a collaborative movement. So we have some little things that we need to grow out of. And, yep, you we know? need to team up as, yeah. like, mm -hmm. working on the Kanye West documentary, one of the biggest lessons that I got from that is, like, it's not done by any one man. It's always a team. Like if you if if you look at the documentary, you realize like he's always he always had a group of people around him that was making things work. Even comes mm -hmm. down to the cameraman, they if they didn't have shot the the footage, we wouldn't have had the footage right now to actually see what went on before Kanye West was actually Kanye West. And right. you know, so we have the stories and we have the f it is really it's, it's you gotta document the stuff to know that you have it. Mm -hmm. But it's always a team of people that actually make it work. It's not any one of us. So that's kind of the. The energy I want to bring to the island that, yo, we can work together, we can come together and we can make it bigger. Everybody play their role and we just make it bigger and we shop Dominica to the international market. And that's what we need. That's what we really need. So we want to encourage you. We want to thank you for joining us today, letting us know, you know, some of your accomplishments. And, you know, a lot of people don't know and they see you, they say, okay, that's a humble guy. They yep. don't really know the story behind what you do and then yep. there's so much to talk about and so i'm grateful for having me here too yeah to, man. to, to kind of share yes. my story with mm -hmm. you and that's again just like i said with carlton that's just scratching the surface there's a lot more that we could talk about yep. but yep. within the time constraints you know it is already yep. so yep. thanks for coming and we will definitely be talking there's, more there's one thing mm. i'd like to plug in if i get a chance Go ahead. Um, mm. um i'm actually uh, planning uh some high-end high-end dinners brunch dinner styles dinners so i want mm -hmm. i want the masses to to look out for information about that it's it's a different style of entertainment but i want to bring resort style entertainment to dominica where you can actually go out and have dinner and have a nice conversation with some nice music and some nice soft music it's like a different a different vibe i want to bring a different vibe to the island so i want y'all to look out for that vibe that i'm about to bring out and um yeah thanks for having me out here for sure, man. And we'll be talking. We'll be sharing ideas, exchanging ideas, because it's always good to get different perspectives from yep. people who have the experience out there. Yep, yep. And, um, you know, yep. people who are, have creative minds, people like myself, I mean, I have a lot of ideas, but then it cannot all be about me. So it's always good to get input from people like yep. yourself, yep. Um, people who I have confidence in, which I am surrounded by. So, you know, it's... Yep. It's going to be a movement and... Yep, and hopefully yep. when I get all the details ready for... Um, these events that I'm speaking about, I can maybe schedule an interview with uh, somebody else to come give the whole details of when it's going to go down. And of course, yeah, of course. Stuff like that, yeah. So that can be arranged. So thanks for joining us again. You Yo, know, appreciate it is you for having me. Yeah, um, thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate I want to say shout out to Dominica. I'm wearing actually my Dominica jacket right now. I want to give you guys a display of that. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Appreciate you, man. Respect. Thank you. Yeah. yeah.